Hi, I'm Robbie Deming here with E380. Today I'm speaking to Justin Gleason from the All Island Research Observatory in Ireland. So what role does GIS play in your mission? GIS is a huge thing for us. It's primarily the, the centre of our organisation. Uh, so mainly what we do is we take uh, public data sets, open data, uh, information from different government organisations, uh, prepare it, put it together on an online toolkit and push it out to the public. And the reason we do that is to allow the public to take this data, visualise trends and try and make better decisions to inform uh, policy development. So what is it about ArcGIS that really enables you to, to accomplish your mission that you couldn't get with another kind of system? What ArcGIS allows us to do is take all the work we would have traditionally done on desktop and very easily put it together on an online toolkit. Uh, over the last number of years, this has become increasingly uh, easier to do. We've developed a whole suite of different applications, basically set up our data in desktop, publish it to our ArcGIS server and push it out to the public, allow them to use the data and make better decisions. How is ArcGIS enabling you to really engage your community and your stakeholders? The ArcGIS allows us to take uh, very complex data and very detailed data set that we have across the countries, turn it into online toolkits uh, via ArcGIS Online or via ArcGIS API JavaScript viewers and push that out to the public. The public can then use that information to analyse uh, census themes across their local authorities. Uh, this key information then can allow them to uh, better formulate policy and plans and that's a key thing in Ireland at the moment, developing local and community plans for each local authority. This data allows these organisations to take this information and make better decisions, ultimately to create a better place for the public to live. So there's been a lot of talk lately about how GIS really enables this concept of green infrastructure. Can you talk a little bit about your organisation's work with green infrastructure? Uh, I guess in the last number of years we've done a lot of work on developing wind energy strategies and recently developing an online toolkit for strategic environmental assessment. Um, so this toolkit, what it does, it, it allows uh, users, whether they're public sector organisations or public, to go online, use one of our toolkits and a widget we've developed to instantly create a, a data and output for strategic uh, environmental assessments. So it's something that's really easy to do, it can be done in a number of minutes, and really assist planners and environmental analysts to do an early screening uh, uh, work for their strategic environmental assessment. Why is GIS vital to the preservation of important landscapes? It allows users, environmental scientists, to uh, highlight the key environmental landscapes across areas, so be it local authorities, regional authorities, or national agencies. The key thing is to show where the most important environmental landscapes are. If that's done at an early stage in planning and programs, it allows uh, planners to go ahead and develop, it could be land use planning, uh, transport planning, and so on. But GIS allows them to highlight and identify where the key areas that we need to protect across our countries.